What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, and we back at it again with another video. I know it's been like two weeks. Uh, I do apologize for that, um, but I wanted to test out the character for a week or two before I posted the full build video. I mean, I did like go over all the stuff about the character last video, but I never had any cards, so I didn't have a build. So that was kind of like that was kind of just like I didn't really have too much to say about the cards and stuff, but. This time around, I got the build done, and I'm going to go over everything, like freestyle skills, ability cards, p-buffs, the whole thing. So, I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you stay to the end. Um, we're on the road to 600 subs. Um, every sub is always appreciated, so thank you guys so much. Uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So, uh, when I first got her, um, if anyone watched my stream, um, I put the both quick points on her which was nice um, obviously she has side hop steps so I wanted to have both quick points because I knew I would be using her a lot so that was already a necessity skills I thought when she came out that this was going to be the walker quick jumper but it's not it's the Kim quick, quick jumper so you can level this up and be very happy with using this so max is out very good very good uh, shooting touch. Shooting touch is literally good on any character. Like you can run shooting touch on any character, whether it's a big, a small, um, a small four. It doesn't really matter. Shooting touch is great. So level this up, max it out. Even though I haven't maxed it out, uh, but I need to get more uh, skill balls. Um, crossover. Uh, I'm kind of upset that she doesn't have um, the drive post up. That bothers me. Like what Joey and Saru and them have. That bothers me, but like I said, you gotta do what you gotta do, and you gotta be happy with what you get. Um, this crossover is not bad. Obviously, you can run the drive in uh, P buff or the drive speed, um, which isn't bad, but I don't want to take off three point success for that, so I'd rather just max this out. Stop drive is obviously really good, um, obviously, so you can do more dribble moves and you can get away with a lot more stuff with side hop step. So this is really nice. And then, this is where we start getting to the controversy where everyone's like, oh, what do I pick? What do I... Yeah, I mean, there's not a bad option with any of the selectables. I'm not going to lie. There's no wrong like wrong decision. I'm not going to lie. It all comes down to your play style, how you play the character, how you want to play. Um, I went with Shot Fake Pass because that's just personally what I like out of the three. Um, it works really well for me. Um, so that's just what I went with. This was the big question, like, which back dribble, step back, where do I go with? I went with step back because I want to be the main scorer when I have when I play this character. A lot of people want to play off ball. A lot of people want to just get a quick back dribble and then run into a sidestep. I feel like the step back kind of makes people guess because they're like, oh, he's going to do a sidestep, and then he does a step back. So it's like you can, you can catch people off guard doing that, and it's really nice. Um, so that's why I went with step back. Obviously, you have side hop step, max this out. It's fantastic. If you're a Joey main, you'll love it. <laughs> and then we get to P6. Um, this is where things start getting a little interesting. 90% um, of people will go with quick change. That's the best option to go with. But, I mean, I heard people talking about diving catch and stuff. I mean, like I said, it comes down to your play style. But 90% of people are going to go with quick change. That's the best option. And then, if you hit your shooting touch, you get more success rate. That's her big skill, her passive. And then, the closer the game is, the farther out three-pointer she can hit. Which means she can have, if the game's like a three-point game or it's tied or something, then she can have like half-court range, pretty much. But she can hit far out regardless, so. And then we come down to the card. It's silver made over here, as always. I don't blow a bag on this game. I'm silver pack made. Um, I did get lucky. I got shooting touch and three point as a pizza. That was really nice. And then obviously I got the three point success rate. Um, three point success rate for the burgers. Uh, I was only able to get one death resist, so I just went with a block resist. Release speed. I feel like most people that play this character should run release speed because her jumper is very slow. It's like Helena Ginger kind of shot, and it's very slow. So I feel like a lot of people should run release speed. It helps out a lot. And obviously got the normal movement speed. That's always a necessity. So, yeah, the, the cards are 
they're good for me. You know, I'm not going to lie. I've had a lot of success with her using these cards. Like, you don't really need plats, golds. I mean, if you're lucky to pull those, go for it. But like I said, it's not something that's a necessity. Um, attributes we got down here. Obviously, she's got a really high three-point, high mid-range. Her dunking surprisingly high. I didn't think that it'd be this high. Um, layups, obviously. Her steal's really nice. Um, I'm getting a lot of one swipes, even though the stat's kind of low. Um, her blocking's not that good at all. Um, obviously, you're going to get some little jump shot blocks, like if they're shooting the ball, but like you're not going to sit there and block a dunk or whatever. Um, it's kind of like Pedro, his type of blocking. Um, and then her speed and stamina are really good. I was really happy about that. Um, but I feel like she's still slow, though. I mean, maybe it's because I only have 100 speed, but maybe if I get to like 150 or something, then she'll start moving fast. Uh, and then we got... Obviously, success rate, death resist, movement speed, release speed, you know, all the all, all the typical attributes. <laughs> but yeah, and then I got the cool outfit because I bought the Legendary Edition for her character because I wanted to show the character off for the stream. That's usually what I've been doing these days. And then I'll show you guys the P-Buffs, and that, that'll be about it. That's, that's pretty much the whole character. Um, I got double three-point, so full Carolina three-point, full Jason three-point. I went half speed, half death resist for Walker, and then I went full speed for Ren. The dilemma I'm having is when I P5 Nadia, I might switch out Carolina for triple speed, and then that way my Ox Queen will have like 120, 130 speed, which will be really nice for her. I really like need that because she seems kind of slow. Like I'm not saying she's like god awful slow, but like she's slow for a shooting guard. It kind of bothers me, but it's okay. Maybe like with 130, 140 speed, maybe she's like lethal. I mean, I only have 100, so that's not, I'm not expecting her to zoom around the map, but I don't know. She just kind of feels slow for having 216 attribute speed. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. I mean, I'm really enjoying the character. Like we're two weeks in, I'm I'm loving the character. Um, she's really fun to play. Uh, it's kind of a different, kind of brings back the three point vibe a little bit. You know, I'm having fun shooting a lot of three-pointers, playing, like, a second Kim. Um, she's kind of like a Kim-Joey hybrid character, which is amazing. Uh, and then... That's really it. I mean, she's just a three-point character. I'm really glad they didn't give her, like, manual block or something, because that would have made her stupid broken. Uh, but I'm, I really am enjoying the character so much. I hope you guys are, whoever has been playing her or bought her or whatever... Um, I hope you guys are enjoying the character because I really am. Um, I think Joy City did a good job with this one, making her balanced and, and fun to play. Uh, but yeah, that's really all I got for you guys. I do appreciate all the support. We're pushing 600 subs, which is insane. I feel like we just hit 500. Uh, but a like and sub is always appreciated, guys. I really do appreciate all you guys coming back, even when I take two week breaks for literally absolutely no reason um <laughs> but uh yeah i'm gonna try to get more build videos out soon for you guys i'm gonna keep trying to stream as much as possible uh but that's really all i got i uh, hope you guys have a fantastic day uh stay safe and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one peace